name is Dr. Anne Gishanke. I am an agriculture economist uh, specialized in economics and uh, food security. I work at Karen Joram. I head the Department of Social Economics with a team of about eight scientists. A major in social economics cuts across all other sections because we, we work in collaboration with other bioscience. So we work with wheat breeders, we work with agronomists because we initially economic, we evaluate economic benefits that farmers get from the, this research that is being carried on. Wheat in Kenya is a very, very important crop economically. It, 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 it contributes highly to the economic benefits of the country. Again, it is the second most important cereal crop in Kenya after maize. But we are seeing a situation where it is almost overtaking maize because in consumption, we have not been meeting the demands. The country produces about 14% of the demanded wheat grain in the country. This tells you that the population uh, prefers so much wheat products that they are almost changing from ugari. Ugari is the staple food in Kenya, now going to wheat products. Like uh, the preference, the food preference in Kenya has really changed. This category of new consumers, the, the young people, the working class, they have no time for most of these other cookings. So they prefer wheat products. So there is that shift from the customs, the, the people are eating this dairy and other food and they are going to majorly to wheat products. And uh, now the deficit is widening. The gap between production and consumption is widening. And so uh, the government is trying to say that research is working towards increasing production. Yes, trying to minimize the constraints that the, the key stakeholders are facing to be able to come up with uh, increased productivity in the country to meet the consumption. Uh, that dot of breeding for an iron rich uh, wheat brand, we have seen happiness, we have seen uh, people who are suffering from iron deficiency. And not all consumers, not all farm families will be able to purchase its supplements or even have an idea of what supplements are all about. Again, because of the cost of life, they might not even afford those foods that will give them high iron. So that will be an easy way of improving nutrition, taking into account that most people are now going to eat consumption. The, the, the preference, the food preference, has diverted so much to with, with consumption. So, with the, that advantage of increasing iron in weight, you will have really done so much for the country. You will have helped the population, you will have helped the poor, and it will lose have an effect in the country.